In this video, we'll take a look at two tools for displaying a view in perspective projection. The first tool is a simple dynamic display, while the second tool employs a virtual camera adjusted to provide an accurate perspective projection. However, I need to give you a quick overview of perspective first, but if you're quite familiar with the subject and totally comfortable with perspective, then feel free to skip this video and go to the next one. Now, assuming you're all still with me, we'll get started on the perspective. Now, up to this point, you've been drawing 3D objects and viewing them in orthographic or isometric orientations. The purpose of a perspective view is to display objects or buildings exactly as you see them in real life. In addition, you can arrange a perspective view to see objects or buildings from any direction or viewpoint you choose. There are three general types of perspective projection, and I've shown all three on the screen. In each case, you should note that there is a horizon and one or more vanishing points. Let me zoom into these two to show you what I mean. This is the horizon, and it is literally the world horizon. And it's the one that you can see if you stand on a flat plane looking out to the horizon. And we see that in each of the cases here. And then we get vanishing points, VP for short. It's a point where parallel edges meet at a point on the horizon. Now, these are all devices used in manual perspective drafting, but nonetheless, they are based in reality. And all you really have to do is walk outside and look at a street view to see the perspective rules in effect. Now, let's start with this one first, which is one point perspective. So there's one vanishing point. And I'm drawing a cube here. And you can see that we start off with the front face of the cube as a flat face. Now, in contrast, the backward edges of an object, in this case, this, this, and this, are projected backwards to that vanishing point. And again, this is what happens in real life. Now, it's fairly clear from this view that this is not reality. You can never see a flat front face and backward edges at the same time. So we need to inject a little more reality into the situation. And that's what this does. This is called a two-point perspective. We have two vanishing points on the horizon. And now we can start with a front edge of the cube. And all of the edges and faces go backwards to respective vanishing points. We're getting relatively close to reality here. Quite often for most drawings of this type, a two-point perspective works really quite well. But for absolute reality, we have to look at this, which is a three-point perspective. We have the same two points on the horizon, but now we have a point down here. And that's because our eyes do see those vertical lines, which will be this, this, and this, receding to a lower vanishing point. Now, this is absolute reality as far as drawing is concerned. Now, this is a fairly extreme example. In a real situation, that vertical angle is much more subtle. But it doesn't necessarily have to be if you're trying to create a very special effect. Now, all this looks very complicated if you've not done this before, but don't despair. MicroStation provides tools which will do this for you automatically. So let's take a look at those in the next video.